Hi, this is Phil Hinton and welcome to another exclusive video on avforums.tv. On Wednesday the 5th of October, myself and AV Forums reviewer Steve Withers attended the JVC UK demo rooms to witness the new 3D projectors being launched by the company in November. We spent around 5 hours fully testing the X30 and X70 projectors with various viewing material as well as measuring the units to see how they performed. JVC will be launching 3 models in November. Ok, so this year we're launching in three new models as you just said. So we have the DLA X30, uh, DLA X70 and the DLA X90. Um, out of the box you're looking at the X30 is a 50,000 to 1 contrast ratio, native as usual. And the 70 is 80,000 to 1 contrast ratio and the 90 is 120,000 to 1 contrast ratio. In terms of the policy between the 70 and the 90 that goes as, as with the previous years of the high-end models so the top 2% of the components are created um, that are created to make a um, 70 go along to make a 90. Uh, but this year we have quite a few new features so looking at the range the 30 has now uh, 2D to 3D conversion uh, and so does 70 and the 90. Um, and we have a few other options in terms of 3D settings, so if a consumer wishes to uh, adjust things like or eliminate crosstalk, they can now do that within the settings of the projector. And then new for this major um, feature for this year on the 70 and the 90 is the fact that we now have uh, eShift technology to uh, uh, improve video performance up to 4K. Now this is going to confuse people. Um mentioning 4K because it's not actually a 4K projector, it's still a 1920 by 1080 chipset that's in there. That's right. Yeah. So how does it work? Um, how it works is that we have an eShift device, so you have the optical block for the 3 chip and then between the optical block and the lens the eShift device sits and this shifts um, for every pixel it shifts it half a pixel so that then creates um, double the resolution effectively. So it, it's me trying to make the image look sh look sharper, look more like a 4K image, but technically it's still a 1080 image. That is correct, yeah. So what we're doing is just giving the consumer an enhanced uh, resolution over and above the existing projector lineup. Uh, now, eShift only works with uh, 2D material though? Yes, yeah, so that is correct. So it's not an enhancement on 3D content, it's for 2D content. So for existing consumers that are playing by Blu-ray or DVD, they will get an improved p picture performance. Do, do you not think that you might confuse the general public who maybe don't know what 4K is at the minute by, by saying that the projector can do 4K? So I, I personally believe that it's something that it's a, an option we can give um, not just informed consumers um, but new consumers that want to have uh, extra performance out of their projector. Uh, so Steve, I'm going to put you on the spot. The X30 is going to be really popular as well as the, the 70 and 90. What kind of prices are we looking at? Um, next week we have the dealer, the official dealer product launch, so they'll be announced next week. So you're going to keep our forum members waiting just that little bit longer? Yes, we are. Let's uh, look at the, the X30. Now, one of the new features we've just been playing about with it is the uh, lens memory function. Yes. Uh, so explain that for users. So, um, as it just suggests, you have a lens memory. So when you set up your projector, if it's in 16 by 9 mode, for instance, you can just uh, change the zoom, the focus, the shift, etc. And then go into the menu and select lem uh, lens memory and save it. Then, if you're lucky enough to own a 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio screen, you zoom out your image uh, to fit that screen, and then you, once again, go into Lens Memory and save it as Lens Memory Save 2. You can go in and rename it if you so desire, uh, and then once you've done your saving, you can just literally go back, and there's a discrete button on the remote control, and you can access whichever memory you require. So, so talking about uh, 2D to 3D conversion, I mean, all three projectors uh, do that, and they yeah. also have 3D modes. Um, and also they have lens memory. Now, one of the things that the, the guys out there who uh, have 3D material, 235 material, they want to watch it on a 235 screen. Yes. Can they do that with your projector? Yes, um, lens, uh, the, the 2D, 3D conversion works for both um, the lens memory or whether or not they're using anamorphic lens, so V-stretch mode. So whereas last year uh, consumers were asking for that feature, um, we decided to put that right across the range now. And uh, with 
3D, uh, new set of glasses coming for, for the models this year and I understand they're going to come in the box when you buy yes. a projector. Um, as before we are supplying two pairs of glasses and the emitter. Uh, the PKAG2s will be supplied and they're a bit lighter and they are rechargeable glasses this time. Once again, you're still using the IR because they're backwards compatible between uh, the two ranges of projectors that we've launched. Um, so we feel that they'll be a, a good option for, for the for consumers this year. Right, so let's move up to the, the higher end models, the 70 and the 90. Yeah. Um, I take it that the 90 is going to follow the same as the X9 last year. It'll have the, the top 5-10% of components on board. That's right, yeah. Um, we feel that that policy in terms of creating a, a high end projector um, has been very successful for us. So once again, the 90 will follow um, that path. Um, in terms of colour management, exactly the same, THX 3D certification right across uh, those two models as well. And we've even added a new feature for auto calibration on those two models. And the auto calibration feature, Steve, are JVC developed in-house? Yes, we've um, looked at that. We've had feedback from various subsidiaries around the world and uh, consumers and dealers themselves we're interested in using things like spiders, i1 pros, software, uh, sorry, hardware with our software. So as I said, inbuilt feature for the more enthusiastic cons consumer. Uh, so obviously, Steve, we've had our preview today. Um, the guys on the forums are getting to see this video. You've got your dealer launch next week. When can the public actually get to see these new models and when are they available? So the public can get to see them at the Manchester show um, at the end of October and then they'll be officially on sale in November.